Now I see why the gang cleaned our dorm for us. To give it to them. It was never for me, it was for them. <laughs> Y'all annoying. We're back again to play some games. We're about to go towards the Wonderland and let's just jump back in. So before I start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's all in the description below and we can get started. So what happened last time? We had to work for Azul or at the cafe or whatever this place is called. Is that a safe in the back? What is this place? Are we really still on school property? Yeah. Or a vault. Look at that huge vault. It's like some kind of bank. You got money back there? How much money you got back there? Um. <laughs> All right, that's enough rubbernecking. Please have a seat. You know we hit the discuss. I gotta get my boys back. Those are not your boys, those are mine. And cat. <laughs> so, what would you like to discuss with me? I like you to free the students you've indentured. I like for you to free the students you've indentured. I like you take those enemies off everybody's heads. I don't care about everybody else. I just care about my friends. <laughs> Goodness me. That's quite the demand to make right out the gate. 225. Golly. You would ask me to release all 225 students from their contracts with me? No, just three. I don't care about everybody else. But that's it. But that still seems like a lot. Do you really need that many people? You bamboozled that many people? That's nuts. Yes, well. Jen and Floyd did a bit of proactive marketing outreach this year. Thanks to that, I've had no shortage of clients ready to strike up deals with me. Oh wait, we do have to free everybody because the freaking headmaster wants us to do his job. So I guess we do have to free everybody. Uh, now Lauren, as for your request to free these students, I'm not forcing them to labor under any undue duress. That's true. They're just very stupid. They made a contract with me, and they willingly consented to the terms laid out in writing. For real. They really did. 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 Contracts are ironclad agreements, not subject to intervention from outside parties on any emotional basis. Poor unfortunate souls, they are not. I swear, every time you say <laughs> poor unfortunate souls, I just think of the Jonas Brothers cover of that song. And I didn't even like the Jonas Brothers. I just think of that song over Ursula's song. Um, <laughs> To put more bluntly, your pro... Your protestations, your protestations will avail you nothing, no matter how much you kick and scream. Fine, let's make a deal. No, I'm told you're willing to grant my wish as part of a deal. I guess. What? Maybe, Jack, maybe. Wait, what? Have you lost it? Oh. Oh. You want to make a deal with me? Now that's an interesting proposal. <laughs> Little Shrimpy's got some guts. Hmm. Now, well, your interest is dully noted. Mm, you're right, I don't got nothing like that. There's a weeb of a snag. You see, Lauren, 
My understanding is that you have no innate magical power. You're not gifted with a beautiful voice, excuse you. Nor are you here to any kingdom. You're an utterly run-of-the-mill human in every possible way. Rude. I'm the princess of this household. Considering the big ask you're making of me, I would need considerable collateral. Dang, what can I give? What do I have? Nothing, right? Such as, what do you want? Not my dorm. I do have my dorm. Not my dorm. I just got that done. Just got that cleaned up. Hmm, I don't know. Just off the top of my head. How about uses? Wait, why am I? Can you really get that from me? I'm just, I know I'm a prefect, but like, do I have that much power to give away my dorm? Hmm, I don't know. Just off the top of my head. How about usage rights for Ramshackle Dorm, which is presently under Lauren's supervision? <laughs> Not my dorm. <laughs> hey, oh, are you scared of ghosts, by the way? Are you scared of ghosts? Because you can have that dorm, actually. <laughs> but you gotta deal with them ghosts. You can't make a deal with them. Um... Was that your whole angle from the... Dang. Grim. I can't stand you. <laughs> Sign me up for that. Who is this strange foamy creature? Yeah. I don't want your input on anything, Grim. I can't take it anymore. My friend for washing dishes. Grim, Digging out of work to eavesdrop on others is hardly employee of the month behavior, Grim. Floyd, eject him. Can do. He, he has no word in this, as well as me and you. No, no. Let's not be hasty, gentlemen. Lauren, the lone student at your dorm has weighed in on the matter. I don't give a care about that. <laughs> but I will, I guess. What say you? Will you put Ramshuckle dorm up as collateral? Make a contract with me? Please, Lauren. I'm begging here. <laughs> Lauren, don't do it. You know he's just gonna name some unreasonable terms you can never possibly meet. Let's let's hear the contract terms. That's the spring I actually like to see. Boy, my Are you serious? Yeah. Here's the deal. It's gonna be something crazy. It's gonna be something I can't do. I mean, he can have the dorm. <laughs> I mean, we don't have it. Well, yeah, I have nowhere else to go. Well, you know, maybe I have friends now, so maybe they'll let me stay in that dorm. Um, but he's gonna have to if he gets if he actually gets the dorm. He's gonna have to deal with the ghost. For real. And I can barely deal with them myself. So I hate them ghosts. Dang, this music is going hard. Okay. Here's the deal. I bid you pilfer a certain photograph from the Atlantic Memorial Museum. You want me to steal? Like a crook? Like a thief? The Atlantic Memorial Museum in the Coral Sea before the sun. I can't even go over there. 
How far is that? Before the sun set on the third day from now. I bid you pilfer a certain photograph from the Atlantic Memorial Museum in the coral sea before the sun sets on the third day from now. For real? You want me to actually do crime? You want us to steal a piece of art? Even he's shocked. No, not a piece of art. A photo, one commemorating a visit to the museum from Prince Relay? Relay? Taken 10 years ago. Gonna need more detail than that. What do you want me to take that? Is it important to you? It has no historical value whatsoever. It means something to you, though. Um, it's a photo panel placed right near the museum entrance. It has no historical value whatsoever. I don't believe a word you say. Borrowing it would not cause any particular fuss. Then why do you want it at all? <laughs> What's the point of a challenge if it's not challenging? If I was to concoct a trifling errand, I would simply be giving away my end of it, wouldn't I? I'm not running a charity here. How far is it? Can I use the little portals to get there? The Atlantic Memorial Museum is a renowned tourist attraction that houses a good 20 different cultural artifacts. That includes the Silver Hair Comb, a Coral Sea National Treasure, and the Mermaid Princess's Prize Cork Opener, among others. So it's just normal stuff <laughs> displayed. We're not asking you to find a speck of gold dust on a seabed here. Hey, didn't we go there on elementary school field trip once? Yeah. I can't swim. Hold on. The nation of the Coral Sea is at the bottom of the ocean, right? Um, and won't water pressure crush me? It's not exactly hospitable for land mammals like us, with no fins or gills. I think you're asking too much here. What he said, I can't breathe under water, you know. That sounds like a you problem. Is what I would normally say, but fear not. Mm. I will provide you with our very own magical potions. They'll enable you to breathe underwater. Uh, I still can't swim. Yeah, that's Once, a poor little mermaid princess fell in love with a human. The sea witch was kind enough to grant her legs to walk upon the earth. <laughs> and really, what are any of us without a sense of charity? So, what do you say? Do we have a deal? Will you agree to a contract with me? Don't rush me, back. Um, I'm afraid I don't have all day. So if you can make your decision now, I'd appreciate it. Chop chop. Mm. There's definitely a trick up his sleeve. Because why wouldn't there be? You know, that's how contracts work. Can't find a loophole. Um. But it's not like I have a choice. So, it's a deal. We're gonna fail. Excellent. Go ahead and sign the scroll then. I guess. 
確かに頂戴しましたこれで契約は完了です There we are Signature received The contract is now in effect 3日後の日没までにアトランティカ記念博物館から写真を奪い僕の元へ戻ってくることができれば Should you successfully steal the photo from the Atlantic Memorial Museum and bring it to me before sunset on the third day from now? I will give you my word. I will release the 225th sea anemones currently doing my bidding. Should you fail your challenge, however? I will release the 225th sea あなたもまとめて僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべになってもらいます。ラムシャクドームは僕のしもべ Now I'm going to be walking home. I'm going to be walking home. Jade Floyd, if you could kindly walk our guests home, I'll see you in three days. Hey, ghost. You guys are going to have some new owners soon. Are you all scared of ghosts? Are you all scared of ghosts? So, this is Ramshackle Dorm. This is my first time aside. I'm already smitten by its charm. I don't start planning in front of me. It's close to school as well. It'll be a perfect site for a Monstro Lounge Branch Cafe. Another not scared. Uh, there's ghosts living here, right? That sounds rad. Why are you guys following us inside anyway? Because this place is collateral and the deal between Lauren and Azul. Duh. Come on! I'll let the rest of you. Lauren has no power to put up as collateral. So we're confiscating the dorm instead. Say what? For real. So this dorm belongs to Azul until you hold up your end of the bargain. Wow. Hence, I'm afraid. Why did you walk us all the way here just to kick us out? I'm afraid I would ask you to vacate the premises immediately. Y'all petty. You said walk us home. Y'all take us home and kick us out, golly. Um, don't worry. We'll give you time to pack your stuff. So nice, right? Once this storm officially enters Azul's possession, we will be disposing all of your personal belongings in it. I suggest you prepare accordingly. <laughs> so now, now I see why the game cleaned our dorm for us. To give it to them. It was never for me, it was for them. Don't worry, we'll give it all back if you bring us the photo before the third sunset. <laughs> Y'all annoying. I gotta save all the tuna. Man, before I leave, I'm gonna do something petty. I'm gonna take the freaking doors and the floor, uh, floorboards. Y'all replace that yourselves. I better start with my school uniform and study supplies. What a mess. And I'm taking the paintings. Hey, last one. A housing bind. Yeah, let me just grab a couple more floorboards. Um, are you two all set? Yeah, 
Does Maybe yummy. seal. Does that look like a seal to you? Peace. <laughs> Little shrimpy and baby seal. See you around. And if you're in need of lounging, feel free to come and speak with us. Reservations for guest rooms, not table and dorms, start at 100 thaw mark a night. And y'all just have everything. Y'all in every business. So, where do we go? <laughs> Homeless. Hey, wait, send it to my face. They did. Nobody calls me a baby seal. It's cold. Let's see what we do for this freaking academy. The head ma the head mage better have a place for us to stay. Guess we're roughing it tonight. This stinks. Whose fault is that? Yeah, you. I don't want to talk to y'all either. We're on the streets because of you. Hey, Lauren. Grim. Are you guys here to help? Not to help you. But it's kind of our fault that Lauren's out in the cold. And it went to sit right with me if you slept outside and caught a cold or something. Oh, you are so really What is it with you imposterin? Leave top with house one rose hearts. We can offer you a place safe from the elements. If you don't mind sleeping on our four-man freshman dorm room. You guys are gonna come another two bodies into a crowded four-man room? And she's like one body in like a half, because the Grim's not that big. What? Does Hartsville not have any empty rooms? Since nobody in our dorm ever drops out or gets held back, it's always at full capacity. Then why don't you come to the Vanna Claw instead? <coughs> oh, you guys have room? I act like I was doing you a favor by sticking around for those negotiations with Azul, but I didn't actually contribute at all. And considering how much we owe you for everything that went down at the spell draft tournament, Leona and the others won't make a peep about it. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Dang. I never knew you were such a big softy, Jack. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, okay? I want our next round of exams to be on a level playing field. It's in my best interest for Lauren to win that bet with Azul. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Lauren and Grim will probably sleep way better there anyway. Yeah, yeah, there are options at our dorm would be spot on the floor or sharing a bed with me or Deuce. Ah, you know, that is still on the table, just saying. Nah, I think I'm gonna go with Jack. I'm not a fan of cramped spaces. I'll stay as a Vanna Claw then. Great. Then we better get back. It's almost midnight as it is. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I'll try. I'll try. I'm glad I have friends. This was stuck with no friends. And I get to see Ruggy and Unk. I'm excited. Um, but homeless.
excited but homeless <laughs> um thank you for watching make sure you like comment subscribe follow me on my social media it's all in the description below and i will see you guys next time bye bye